York's Fashion Week kicks off this week, and the industry has never been more crowded with brands big and small trying to make a name for themselves. With a look at what it takes to keep a fashion brand alive in this climate, we're joined by designer Christian Siriano, who is days away from his first fragrance launch and his newest runway collection. Christian, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So congratulations on your new fragrance, first of all. Thank you. How it's important exciting. is a perfume or a, a scent to a growing fashion business? I mean, I think, you know, a scent really kind of, I think as a young brand, it's kind of sets you in a place where you're starting to kind of build a lifestyle. And I think that that's really how a customer is shopping now. Mm -hmm. You know, she wants a whole world of a brand. So, right. she, and I think also, you know, with designer clothing being at certain price points, not everybody can have a great designer dress. So I think a fragrance is something that's approachable, something that you wear every day, something sure. that you actually use. I walk into a store and I want a Christian Siriano gown. I may not be able to afford it, but yeah. I can walk away with the scent. With the scent yeah. that has the essence of the world. Right, so right. I think that was the idea for at least for us. And you've also created a partnership with Payless Shoes. Yeah. You're so smart about the business side of this. How important are these partnerships? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Payless, I, I definitely, I mean, God, we've been working together for almost six years. Mm. We've done thousands of shoes, styles, sold millions of pairs. And I think mm. the whole idea was that uh, I really wanted something accessible for that every woman. I mean, I think every woman should have a little bit of fashion, a little bit of trend, but uh, you know, from kind of a designer eye. Uh, yes. So I think that was the idea. And How challenging is it though for a high fashion designer? You have to, I guess, use materials that are not quite as expensive, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So is that very difficult? Um, you commercialize, you know, the conceptual idea, yeah. but I think with a, with a great company like Payless, they're able to produce so many pairs that you still use the same kind of techniques that you would in a designer shoe. Right. They're just making millions of them, so it's a little bit easier for them. Right. Great tip, uh, so I'm gonna go to yes. Payless Let to get your you. shoes. So they, the quality really is very, very similar right, to be right. honest wow. I think um, that's a very good insider tip yeah it is we use the same last as you know Italian shoemakers mm -hmm. and which is kind of nice so you kind of get the best of both worlds but at a great price and do your lines just sell out instantly at Payless um they do pretty yeah well. I know pretty um, well you know, not not every style you know right. some styles are really hits and mm -hmm. some styles are misses and I think that that's the challenge every season uh, which is exciting though for for you know for us we grow every season and try new things and right. that's what I love now you put several gorgeous actors down the red carpet in the Emmys recently, including yeah. Sarah Hyland. How does amazing. that work? She looked beautiful, <laughs> by the way. Um, how does that work, the negotiations with the actresses? How early do you begin that? And what's the payoff for a designer? Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's um, it's so many things go into it. You can work just with a stylist sometimes, and they're just pulling dresses, and it works. Right. And it happens, and it goes on the carpet. Um, with Sarah Hyland, you know, we made that dress. We worked with her stylist, Brad Goreski. Um, just a few days before, I sent sketches. We made that dress in maybe three or four days. Right. And um, I think the payoff really is exposure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're here to sell clothes. We want people to love them. And, and I think the women who are shopping in, in this world, you know, they're aspiring to look at who's wearing it, what's happening in Hollywood, what's happening in music, you know, whether a musician wears it, whether an actress wears it. You know, everybody's kind of looking to those people, um, you know, which is why kind of style icons are created and, yes. and that whole world. So um, it definitely helps the business. Uh, you know, it's a lot of work for yeah. sure. Not always fun. <laughs> um, but I think, you know, with someone like Sarah, she's young, it's fresh. It was a new kind of idea on a red carpet Emmy's look, and I think that that's why it kind of worked, mm -hmm. um, just because I think people are always looking for something new and exciting. Absolutely. Now, you obviously are you know, a high-end designer. You want yeah. to bring in this customer again and again, season after season. So how do you do that? Do you, do you form personal relationships with some of your customers? For sure. How do you grow their... Um, yeah, I mean, that's always the challenge that yeah. I try to kind of always explain is that I always say it's really easy to get a customer one time. You know, yeah. you can go to different cities and, you know, sell so many different places, but to keep them coming back season after season is the challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, that's really how you know that your brand is going in the right direction because you have that customer and she's always wanting something new from what you're putting out season right. after season. And finally, tell that's us quickly, what is your vision for this season? Ooh, I, think vision, I'm, I mean, I'm a little bit, uh, you know, with spring, summer that we're showing and I'm into this kind of ethereal romantic world. Mm -hmm. um, I like a, a woman to feel a little bit more ladylike, elegant. Um, you know, it's not edgy. It's not downtown and cool. It's a longer a little hem a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah for mm -hmm. sure. Like I want her to be a little bit sophisticated, super chic, um, but still playful. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I that's always important to be you know, kind of fun and playful and but still elegant. Sounds gorgeous. Right up my alley. Christian Siriano, thank you so much for thank being with you. us today.